Yes. All right. So, so I've seen some of the attempts made by different people, and I think for these first two, you guys have really done it. But let's just do it together. Sometimes you have situation where it's difficult to, you know, let you be something, let me be something. One of the best things to do is to try both ways and see. There's a pattern I'll tell you next time. Integra, exponential, and things like that, the way you arrange them. But let's see. So clearly the instruction has been given in that worksheet. It says that by writing it lean as one times lean x. There's a reason for that. So basically this is one times lean x dx. So that's the product. But the product doesn't mean that the first one always have to be u. Okay, so here you will say that let u be lean x. Remember, you need the derivative of u. Okay, so it's easier to differentiate this rather than integrate it. Because if you let it be v, you are still going to integrate v. So you're going to get stuck because that's actually what you are trying to do here. Okay, so you let this be u, then this will be the rest. So basically, you have written this as then x times 1, such that your u is this and the rest is the v. Let u be this and the v be dx. Understand? It means that from here, the u dx is 1 over x, which means the u is 1 over x dx. And from here, v is the integral of dx, so v is just x. Okay? And by the rule, integral of u dv is uv minus integral v du. Okay? So, this is going to be, you just say from, always state it, okay? So you can remember. Integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. The rest is, it implies that the original question is equal to, the original question is this, right? based on your substitution. UV, you have natural log of x times x. I put it in brackets so it doesn't look like x squared. Minus integral V du, x du is 1 over x dx. So that everything here becomes x lin x minus integral dx, x and x cancels. Can you see that? So that everything becomes x in x minus x plus c. And if you differentiate that, you should get this back. You can try it later. So you say ns, integrate this. So the same way. Let u be that and uh, v be just the dv, sorry, is the x. If you differentiate this with respect to x, this is a uh, chain rule, right? Two, lin x times derivative of that 1 over x which is 2 lin x divided by x yes and v will be the integral of the x so v is equal to x again then right so from integral u dv u v minus integral v du yes together integral of lin x all squared gives what Yes? First place, we in x squared times x minus integral x times 2 divided by x uh -huh. du. Oh, I didn't write that. Okay, so du will be this dx. Is that okay? Yes. So then dx. So this cancels. I have lin x all squared. What do, what do I write next? No, there's an x here. Yes, what do I write next? Minus, Minus two, two integral. Integral. Yes. Lin x dx. Lin x dx. So what do we do with this? We substitute, substitute this result. Without the c, of course. Okay? So you have x lin x all squared minus two brackets x lin x minus x, then everything plus c. 
That's why it says ends. So that gives x ln x all squared minus 2. You could actually leave it this way. Instead of 2, 2. Or if you open the bracket, 2x ln x plus 2x plus c. Okay? So sometimes when you have natural log, u should be your natural log because the rest can be easily integrated. Okay? There's a question about ln x divided by x and ln x squared divided by x squared in the worksheets. You can try it similarly. Now, let's look at this. Your syllabus says including the situation where you have repetition. Because if I take this to be u and this to be dv, I'm going to end up integrating. So watch what we're going to do. So here, let's, if my u is exponential, it's easy to differentiate. If my dv is this, it's easy to integrate. So I don't have a problem. You can try it both ways and see, okay? And uh, my dv is sine x dx, okay? From here, my du dx is the same, such that my du is exponential x dx. Am I right? Then here, my v is going to be the integral of sine. What is the integral of sine? Minus cos, right? Yes. We don't need plus c. So again, uv minus integral v du. So from integral u dv, uv minus integral v du, the original problem, integral of exponential x sine x dx is equal to uv exponential x minus cos x integral v du, yes? Minus cos x. Exponential s dx. So it means exponential that, that, minus exponential x cos x plus exponential x cos x dx. So this is another integration by part, isn't it? Remember yesterday we did integration by part twice. But it was because the algebraic part was x squared. So let's go one more time. To go one more time, this is minus exponential x cos x plus, now, so this is our u and dv again. OK? So uv, u means copy and paste, right? Mm -hmm. v means integrates this. Mm -hmm. What is the integral of cos x? Sine x. Plus sine x. Then minus integral v du, v is what? Sine x. Sine x. du is derivative of exponential. Exponential, then dx again. So you will notice that this is going to be negative. They have everything now. Exponential x sine x dx is equal to negative exponential x cos x plus exponential x sine x minus integral exponential x sine x dx. So it's going back again. So that is what they mean by repeated uh, you know, kind of problem. And this is the end. Once the same thing comes back, bring it to the other side. Integral exponential x sine x dx plus integral exponential x sine x dx is equal to, I put the positive part first, exponential x sine x minus exponential x cos x. Can you see that? So that this can be written as 2 integral. Can you see that? Yes. Okay? Dx, sir. And this could be written as sine x cos x exponential, or maybe exponential x first. Okay? So, so that the final result together is what? Sine x dx is equal to what? Half, half exponential half exponential x or exponential x over 2 bracket, right? Yes. Sine x, so this cos x minus cos x then plus c. So when you have a case where you have repetitive problem, you just make sure you simplify until that comes out again. If you read some text, when they have repetitive problem, they just call it i. So that this could be maybe one i, two i, three i, then they make i the subject of the formula. You might see that approach in some books. 
is the same. Finally, this problem says you do it in three ways. Can you check question 10? What is the instruction? 10A. Or read the general instruction quickly. Find integral of... Wait, no. Um, using double angle formula. I told these guys to drop it downstairs. I believe this is the delivery man calling me again. Can somebody please speak to him and tell him to go to the reception? Yes. Find that using double mm -hmm. angle formula. Find this using double angle, then using substitution, then using integration by parts, right? So, by double angle, we will do integral sine x cos x dx is equal to what? Come on, you have seconds. Everyone except Lillian. What is the double angle formula? Say that again. Sine 2 theta. So can you use this? So? Oh. Um, you put a half outside. Put a half outside. And then integral of 2 sine x cos x uh, dx. Right? And this becomes what? Sine 2 theta. Half integral. Half integral. Sine 2 x dx. We've done this before, right? So, that will be half. What is the degree of sine? Uh, negative cos. Negative cos. 2x. Is that all? Over 2. Over 2. Thank you. Then plus. So finally, you get minus 1 over 4 cos 2x plus c. Second part, using what? Substitution. Substitution. So, integral of sine x d, uh, cos x dx. How do we use substitution? Anyone? Let u equal sine x. Let u be sine x or let u be cos x. It doesn't matter which one. Okay. Let u equal sine x. Then what happens? du dx. du dx equals cos x, which means uh, dx. Is equal to what? du over cos x. Okay? Is there a problem, Callista? Uh, they say like they're gonna wait for you to go down because you gotta sign the thing for the credit card. Yeah, someone will sign. Someone is dead. They said they need you to sign. Your credit card needs to. It has to wait. wait. So integral of sine x cos x dx, DX is equal to sine u cos x. Integral of no u u, u, u uh huh cos x, cos x. Cos x. du over cos, du over cos x. x. Okay, so that gives what? U. Integral of u du. So what is integral of u du? U squared, u squared over two. U squared over two plus c, which will be sine squared x over two plus c. Looks like they are different. I can bet they are not. If you open this, you get one over four. Cos 2 in terms of sine squared is what? 1 minus, right? Talk to me, please. Then plus C. So open the bracket. Minus 1 over 4, yes? Plus half sine squared x plus C. Combine this with this, gives you your new C. It's just a constant. It doesn't mean C is peculiar. It's any other constant remaining. Anything remaining that is not a function of X is the C. Understand? So they are the same result. The last part, what does it say? Integration by parts. So the same problem using integration by parts. So integration by parts cos no, sine X cos X dx. So what do we do? I release you in one minute. What do we do? U equals sine x. Let u equal sine x. Or it could be the other way around. Let u equal sine x and yes, dv equals, DV equals cos, x. cos x dx. So from here you find the u dx, which is cos x, and your du is equal to cos x dx. And also from here you find v. What is the integral of cos x? 
sin. Yes, sin. Okay. UV minus integral V du. So integral U dV is equal to UV minus integral V du makes the original problem. You have to complete this yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. Dx is equal to, let's write the first part. Sin x sin x minus sin x cos x. Yeah, cool. I think we are almost done. This and this are alike. So take it away. You can see your sine square x comes back again, divided by 2 again, right? So, integral of sine x cos x dx plus sine x cos x dx is equal to sine squared x. So, if 2 integral is equal to sine squared, Clearly, the integral is sine squared divided by 2 then plus c. And we can, we have already simplified that this and this are the same. Okay? And that's how you complete it. So pack your stuff while I write the last stuff. So the surprise test will no longer be a surprise test. So you have it on Thursday. Okay? Just for 20 minutes, then we do definite integral. Okay? Thank you.